Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my January favourites. I've got quite a few things to talk about today so I'll try not to talk about each of them for too long. My first favourite is the NARS Narcissus palette. I wanted this so much when it first came out. Um, but I didn't get it because it, it was quite expensive. But I was lucky enough to get it for my birthday in the beginning of December and I've just been using it non-stop ever since. It's such an amazing palette. It has like such a great range of shades, um, all neutral, but it also has like warm toned ones, cool toned ones, quite dark ones, um, a few that are kind of slightly purpley and bluey as well. But all really, really wearable shades and I've used, I think I've used every single shade um, in the palette, which is actually quite rare for me. Um, I've been particularly loving Fez, um, Mekong, and Coconut Grove. Those have been my kind of three favourites. It's a really excellent palette, and I'm so, so pleased that I got it. It's definitely my favourite eyeshadow palette ever, um, and I can't wait to have even more of an experiment with that. Another eyeshadow favourite is the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Shadow Paint in the shade Chained. I absolutely love this. This is also quite a recent purchase. Um, it's a lovely kind of bronzy gold tone. It's actually quite similar to my skin tone, but it's got a lovely sheen to it. So I like wearing it on its own, or it works amazingly well as a base under um, under any of those NARS eyeshadows. So those two, um, so those two together, have been just wearing non-stop on my eyes. A new concealer which I've also been loving is the Mac Select Cover Up Concealer, which I have in the shade. NC45. Now this was a, a little bit of a nostalgia product for me because I used this all through my teens and absolutely loved it then. Um, when I ran out of it I I don't think I ever repurchased it and I think I just forgot about it. And I came across it again recently and I thought oh well I'll give that another try. So I got another one and I, I, re I really really like it. I'm, I don't know why I ever stopped using this. It's amazing. It feels very very lightweight on the skin and it doesn't leave your skin with that feeling like you've got loads of makeup on, which is a feeling I really hate. It's not the highest coverage concealer, it is kind of a medium coverage, but it is quite buildable. Um, and I just really love it, so I've been using it under my eyes, on any other, other areas that I need it. Um, yeah, and it's fantastic, definitely recommend that. It's, I, I really think it's quite an underrated one as well, I never really hear people talking about it that much. So yeah. Another kind of base uh, product favourite has been the NARS Multiple in the shade South Beach. This is another one that I, I don't really, I've not really heard much about, but I just absolutely love. I hear about the multiples all the time, but never about this shade. It's a gorgeous kind of peachy, peachy bronze with kind of a gold running through it. I've been using it as a highlighter, or like a highlighter and blusher kind of hybrid. It just does a bit of everything um, and it's just really really warm like the warm tones and it just really brighten up your face um, and yeah I just love it. I've also been loving lots of lip products this month as always and these are just a few of my favourites. So first up I've been really loving the um, the By Terry Bomb de Rose and these are the coloured versions. So I have the shade three, Cherry Bomb, and four, Bloomberry. So Cherry Bomb is a lovely kind of true red shade, and Bloomberry is a lovely kind of deeper red. I really, really love both of them, and I find that they're just such a nice way to wear colour on your lips when the weather's really cold, because I love a bold lip, particularly a matte one, but when the weather's really cold and my lips are really dry, I just find they can be so drying, um, and I end up just wearing lip balm or not wearing anything on my lips. So these have been amazing to wear kind of colour, and they're so nourishing as well. The other lip product that I've been loving is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. I think everyone loves this. Um, it's so amazing. I've been. It is a matte formula, so it's not. It's definitely not the most moisturising. But I've been finding it actually works really, really well in conjunction with the By Terry balms. Um, I particularly love wearing this kind of as a liner and lightly filled in um, on the rest of the lips um, with the Bloomberry on top, which is actually the combination I'm wearing today. 
um, and it just gives the balm a little bit more colour, a bit more pigment, but still keeps it quite nourishing. That combination has just been amazing. Another product that I've been loving is the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil. Um, this is such a fantastic um, eyebrow product. I've always used kind of an angled brush and a powder to fill in my brows just because I find that it gives the most kind of natural but still defined result. Um, but it does take a little bit of extra time and recently I've just wanted something that I can do as quickly as possible and it still looks natural and good and that is, this has just been doing an amazing job at that. So on one side you have the actual brow pencil um, and it's really really thin at the, at the tip. You can fill in your brows and it looks very natural. Um, on the other side there's a spoolie and it's a really really good spoolie so I just brush my brows kind of upwards in the centre and then out, outwards um, and then I just fill them in and then brush them again and I find it looks really really natural. I've got the shade Hot Chocolate um, which which is actually surprisingly quite a good shade for me but disappointingly the, the line only has two shades, there's kind of a blondy one and then this one um, so hopefully they'll expand their range at some point because it's a really really great product. Those were my main kind of makeup favourites so now onto a little bit of skincare. I recently finished up the Elemental Herbology Cleanser um, that I spoke about in my morning skincare routine video and since then I've been using this one which is the Aurelia Probiotic Skincare Miracle Cleanser and I have just been loving this, it's amazing. It smells incredible, so it has chamomile, eucalyptus, rosemary and bergamot oils and it's a really um, it's just a beautiful cleanser. It's quite a thick cream cleanser, as you can see. I just take a little scoop in my finger, rub it onto dry hands, massage it into my face, um, and then either just rinse it away or um, remove it with a, with a flannel. Um, and it's just been working amazingly well. It leaves my skin feeling really soft, really nourished. Um, I've been using it in the morning and also kind of as a second cleanse at night, but I'll, I'll speak a bit more about this um, in my evening skincare routine, which will, will be my next video uh, coming soon. Another product I'll be talking more about in that video is the Time Bomb Youth Juice Secret Oil. It's a lovely, lovely um, overnight facial oil, which actually I've been using for quite a while now. It's got a combination of lots of different natural botanic oils, and it's just really, really lightweight. Like, I massage it into my skin, and I find a little bit goes a very long way, as with most facial oils. And it just sinks in really, really quickly and easily, which is what I love about it. It smells incredible too. It smells of lavender, so if you're a lavender fan, you'll definitely love this. I find it's so relaxing to massage into the skin um, at night, because the scent of lavender really relaxes me. Um, I only use it about maybe two or three times a week because I find that's enough for my skin but you could definitely use it more often if you want to. Um, you get quite a big bottle actually most, um, most most facial oils that you buy are 30 mils and this one's actually 60 mils so you get double the amount there which is really good um, but again I'll speak more about that in my evening skincare routine. Another slightly different favourite has been this book. It's called Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling and I have really really enjoyed this book. I got this one for uh, my birthday as well, so lots of birthday presents in this video. Um, and I, I think I read it in the space of about two days. It's really really easy read, I mean it feels a bit like reading like a magazine or a blog or something like that. And I genuinely laughed out loud while reading this, um, it's just so funny. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, Mindy has her own kind of TV sitcom called The Mindy Project, which I absolutely love, it's such a hilarious show. And before that she was also a writer on um, the very successful show The Office. So if you're a fan of either of those shows, you will just love this, it's just, it's just so funny. Um, but yeah, and an easy read as well, so give that one a go. So yeah, those are all my favourites, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.